Hey, good morning everybody. This is Grant at the Urban Foresters and as promised, here we are. We're going to talk about palms today. Uh, the neighborhood of Rodeo Palms or Rodeo Palms, I, sorry if I did that wrong, has uh, been so kind to allow us to do some experiments today on their palm trees. Um, palms are actually not trees. They're not, they don't have a woody trunk like a, like a normal tree and they're, they're very different. I'm not a palm tree expert but um, they are very different and they're you know obviously deeply impacted by the cold some species not some species are so i mean if you've got a property like this where you've got all kinds of problems like this you know so, some of the fronds are completely broken off and you know some of them are still kind of green but they're in there they're poking up uh, we're going to be dissecting a few of these at a different area on the property today and uh you know stay tuned with us and we're going to go over there next Okay, so although I'm not a palm expert, I, the basics of palm biology is that, you know, whereas like a big oak tree, you know, each little twig can make leaves. Um, on a palm, there's only one of those. It's called the meristem. And it's right in the top of the, you know, the, where the trunk kind of ends and you see the new fronds coming up out of there. Um, if that meristem froze and was killed, then the palm is, is not going to survive. There's, there's no way for the palm tree, you know, you don't see palms sprouting from the trunk or anything like that. So that's really what we're going to try to find out today is how, how did the meristem survive the freeze? Okay, so we're going to talk about what, what's going to happen if these are all dead. So come this way. You can see these palms here on this property. They've just been dead for a while. They didn't die from the freeze. but the tops of these palm trees, I mean, if this came crashing down in your parking lot, you know, or, or, or hit someone's car or hit your house, you know, that's a, that's a major hazard. Um, so palm trees are, like I said, they're not trees. They don't have wood. There's no wood inside this trunk. It's, it's closer to a grass, really. It's, it's just a bunch of fiber. And so when this tree stops, transpirating water and, and being when it, when it dies it's going to deteriorate very quickly so we need to determine if these things are dead or if they're alive fairly quickly i don't mean like in two days but you do not want to let a palm like this set dead you know for six months it's it's a hazard so that's why we're trying to find out what's going on here it's, it's really mostly safety and then secondarily it's ugly all right guys so now the real work is starting uh albino and his crew are going to go up to the, the top of these two palms. Uh, you can see the one on the right, how it's uh, fully broken out and all the fronds are, are down and brown. And then the one on the left, it still has some green to it and it still has some rigidity left in the palm. So that's why we're doing, we're cutting both of those down and we're going to lower down like a three or four foot section of that top part of the tree where that meristem is. And once we get that on the ground safely, then we'll start kind of pulling it all apart. But... arborist and that looks bad to me um, let's pull that other one apart too I mean it, that one was browner than this one but pull it apart too but this is the meristem in, in this area was where the tree makes the new leaves and it's it's toast froze to death <laughs> That's the that that was what the new that was the new palm the new growth and it's it's done. Okay, guys, uh, that was pretty conclusive. Uh, thank you for watching the Urban Foresters. Um, if you need to get a hold of a tree expert or someone in our company to talk about your property, the phone number is 855-255-5212.
can also fill out a form at theurbanforesters.com or if you have a sales rep and you're on the commercial side, just, just call your rep if you already know your guy. Thank you guys so much.